Good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Good morning. It's three good mornings, isn't it? Not two. You lovely lot. Anyway, it's Monday and I've kept today really quiet because Leah's going to be home for part of it. He was home this morning, so we just had a nice snuggle together, had a nice lay in. Kenzie went off to work, well, school, sorry. Um, and then he's got up and he's gone off to the dentist. I'm now getting up and doing various bits and bobs. It is nearly 11 o'clock, so I'm doing housework washing dishes, all that kind of stuff. And then I need to go and get Kenzie, come back, and I'm going to try and be really strict and get some college work done. I just want to get this one assignment finished and then I'll feel like I've achieved something and can move on to the next one. Do you want to see me hoover? You might do. Let's, come on, let's go do some hoovering. You can, uh, well, I was going to say you can hold the lead, but it's cordless, so you can't even do that. You can hold the camera for me. How about that? <laughs> I have bleached the bathroom, hoovered, hoovered and hoovered. I did a bit of a quick dust in here as well, a bit of a tidy up, made the bed. Hoovered behind the doors, I've done the skirting boards and all these bits here that just get so dusty. And this was very dusty. This little bit I never see, but I've dusted it all. I haven't made Kenzie's bed, he can do that when he gets in. His new rug, I've taken loads of dust off of it, not dust, fluff, loose fluff off of that because it keeps spreading around the room. Now I need to take the hoover down. I've been working my way down the stairs as well as you can see, with the nozzle. Not your food. They are Salem. They're not your food. They are Salem. That's your food, isn't it? She keeps trying to eat it. Naughty chicken. Naughty chicken. Gloria, not your food. Come on then, you can eat it. You eat it. Come on then, Salem, you go eat it. Did she touch it and ruin it? Right, go and eat your food that is actually outside for you. I've got to clean out that litter tray. <laughs> Come hither. Right. Oh, got to clean up all your poo. It's like a little poo army. Right. I'll get you some more seeds. I put that mat up there because she was looking like she wanted to hang out up there, but it seems to just be folding up on her. I don't know if she'll settle in it or not. In the meantime, I have decided it's time for a cup of tea and a bit of a sit down. Um... I'm going to start the college work, but there's no point doing it right now because I need to go, excuse me, and get Kenzie in half an hour. So I'm just going to relax for half an hour. I know the hoovering's been done. I know the laundry's up to date. I know the bathroom's clean, bedroom's clean, done a bit of dusting. So I can relax. I was on the phone to the vets, Gloria. I was booking you in, not, you know, taking you to the vets because you're fine. Don't turn your back on me, I'm talking to you. I thought we'd better have you registered with a vet. But they couldn't find anything for a chicken on their books. So it looks like you're under John the Sheep Vet from now on. Not that John the Sheep Vet knows this. Hi. Oh, thanks. Hanging out with me. I've got to go in a minute and get Kenzie. I do. I'll take her for a ride in the car, but she's likely to end up flying in front of the uh, windscreen and causing an accident. What is it about my ponytail? Between you and Nelly, I suppose I've got any hair left at all. I'm off to go get my boy from school and he wants some prime. There's some orange prime at a local um, village shop apparently. This is this KSI and Logan Paul. Logan Paul? The other one? Oh, I can't remember. Um, drink that they're all after. So yeah, I'm going to take him for a bit of a road trip to go and get that. Which is 
So that smells amazing. Blue murder cheese. Oh, wow, amazing. that's different. I, I don't so do nice. blue cheese. Well, that's um, me and Beth though, but that's a real mild one. Still, I mean, it's still yeah, blue. I don't, yeah. Cheese should not be mouldy, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Oh my god, that coleslaw looks amazing. Do you ever sell it like, you know? Yeah, sell it in tubs. Oh, well, I'll have some of that as well, I think. Yeah, please. Oh yeah, I've got this five three Really? I'm not surprised. I love a good fresh coleslaw. I've picked Kenzie up and uh, Lee's come back. He actually followed us down the road. Um, as I was bringing Kenzie home, he was on his way back from the dentist. He said it was a bit sore, he had a bit of a clean and scrape done of his teeth and it was a little bit painful. The animals are all chilling out in the conservatory. Gloria's been trying to make a nest out of the cushions. That's exactly why that blanket is there, because if she poos on it, I can just throw it in the washing machine. It's chucking it down with rain again out there. tumble dryer is on I am about to start my college work get some of that done and I'm on the evening uh, sheep feed today so I've got quite a while to get this done which is good just as I get comfy Amazon rocks up um, now I bought this I actually thought I bought two of them I thought I bought one for my room as well but I might be wrong anyway um, I got this to go on Kenzie's bedroom windowsill because the cable, the, the extension lead that he's got, there's loads of wires coming out of it and the cat messes with it and I suspect the dog's going to try and chew it, you know, because puppies chew things. So I saw this, just, I wasn't looking for anything special, it just, it was one of those things that pops up on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below so you can have a proper, whoop, a proper look at it yourself. But it looks... If I can get into it, quite good. So you've got this big box thing that you can use as a shelf as well to put things on. Keeps everything neat and tidy. You get them in various lengths. So we've got a two meter, three meter, and five meter. I bought a two meter cord. I'm hoping that is long enough. Thought it would be, but we'll see. Doesn't look very long there, does it? Um, and everything stays inside. Um, for the most part, we shouldn't be having any of those annoying, um, you know, plugs that face the wrong way. Most of the time they do face that way, if you see what I mean, the, the backs. Because some of them, some of the things you buy, like the ones he's got at the moment is um, is a double row. And sometimes the ones on this side, when you plug something in, it gets in the way of the one on this side. It's not very well designed. It's also got air ventilation. It was 20-something pounds. But it's also got down here three little usb chargers as well so what's this uk outlet for five sockets anti-flaming 850 degrees celsius a large space sufficient outlet intervals and three usb ports made by holker had good reviews so i'm gonna go and plug it in this is what I was very inaptly trying to describe to you. S plugs that do this. So that one won't fit in. This is a DS. 3DS is it or DS, Kenzie? A 3DS charger. Because really it needs to stop there. But because of the way it's designed. You can get some that are better just plug into a phone charger. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's been, that's no good for going into this particular thing. So Ken's going to go and put that away. But you can see here he's got couple of cables it's got a mains on and off on the outside he's got his phone charger coming out this side and everything's very neat in there and he's still got three sockets left and the uh, USB as well and he can rest his phone on there while it's charging or... I will show the animal crossing sign in just a second right so there we go looking good puppy proof and that was that bargain Animal Crossing light up thing. Um, into his computer, so that's not wasting power. Yeah, plugged into his computer, little USB thing that we got from Lidl in the sale at Lidl.
Lee's just come to check on Gloria and said to me, oh my God, that chicken. Gloria, what are you doing? Are you enjoying the rain and digging up my flowers? There's bulbs on the floor there. Did you throw them out? Can I point out that the bulbs were actually quite important to growing? Look at the state of you. Hi. You mucky little thing. Coming in? You're not coming into the rest of the house. You're going to have to stay in here. My God, look at you. You're filthy. I'm sorry, Gloria. Dirty girls have to stay out there. Look at the mess. Look what you did. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's a glare. I am being glared at, no, no, no. If you know she's got a riddle bus to because we're not getting them every oh, time. Oh, that go? Did that just jump off me? Off onto me, probably. Mm. I think that might be one there. <laughs> Looking at the camera. Look what she's doing to me. Oh, you want some sympathy, Salem? Anybody help me? My owners are so mean. We would be mean if we left you covered in fleas, wouldn't we? Yeah, those are all the fleas, and then there's that stuff at the bottom that's going red. Is the poo that goes to the, is basically blood. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's not very happy about it. She's scratching. Kenzie's online gaming with his friends upstairs, and he's being incredibly loud. But he's having fun. Um, this coleslaw that I got from the village shop in one of the villages further over from us when I popped in um, looking for that prime drink, which we didn't get. They were selling it for 6 99 And that was the cheapest. I don't think so. We're not paying that. Um, <laughs> FYI. Yeah. The, um, the, it wasn't in that shop. It was in the shop next to it. They do loads of really lovely stuff. We actually... Got a bit of lunch from there. I brought some lunch home for Lee as well. Yeah, they do really nice things in there. They do fresh food. They do uh, flowers and cakes and gifts and farmy things and loose sold dried fruit and nuts and that kind of thing. Anyway, pot of coleslaw this big, which I've virtually devoured the whole thing now. Um, Two pounds. And it's all homemade, fresh coleslaw, and it's big and crunchy and gorgeous. So, anyway, um, I nearly finished my assignment for my college work, which is really good. But there was a question. It was either telling me to discuss sheep breeds and their three uses, so meat, and including meat, wool, and then a third use, or, and this is what I actually think it was asking me to do, and I ended up answering the question wrong, it was asking me to name sheep breeds and discuss their three uses. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, how can I put it? So they have a triple use. A, to name breeds that have a triple use. So they are good for meat, um, wool and milk, say. Um, I don't know. Or being used as, you know, a sire for a, for a crossbreed or, um, yeah, something along those lines. The third thing is optional. Um, I don't know many things that could be a third thing. Those are the only two that I could think of, milk or being good sires. Anyway, anyway. Um, as I've, I've actually emailed the tutor and said, what exactly is it asking, please? Because I'm a little confused and I think I've started answering the question wrong. But once that question is answered, I'm going to send it in for um, marking. So I do feel like I'm pretty much done with that. I literally just have a couple of paragraphs to write and then it's ready to go in. Um, I need to go and feed the babies. Well, put all the sheep to bed and feed the babies their last bottle. Um, Lee's made me a cup of tea. We haven't really got anything to watch this evening. We have had some bad news though. 
I'm hoping it's just a temporary issue. Puppy was meant to come Thursday of this week. There's a problem with the transport for Puppy. And Puppy is not going to be with us on Thursday. Um, there was some paperwork that was an issue. Uh, Puppy is not in this country, basically. We're having a Romanian rescue. And there, there was just some issues with um, paperwork to do with the transport company. And they basically have what they call the happy bus. There's a whole bunch of us waiting. And we've seen all the other dogs on their happy buses and what have you. And we're part of a little, a little group of adopters. And um, yeah, this particular shipment of dogs, I say shipment, it doesn't sound right to say shipment, but you know what I mean? Like this, this group of dogs that are waiting to be delivered to their adoptees, adopters, adopters, because they are the adoptees, is that right? Anyway, um, yeah, there's been this problem with paperwork and the permit was revoked to bring them, or the paperwork, their approval was revoked um, this afternoon. So they're trying to, the courier company are trying to sort out whatever this bit of paperwork is that has been a problem. They've not, you know, they've delivered several shipments of puppies and what have you over. And so it's not been a problem, but something's gone wrong this time. We haven't paid for anything. You know, it's not like, because, you know, you do hear about scams and stuff. We've not paid anything or anything yet. So um, I'm not worried about that. And we're, in, like I said, we're in a really good group of adopters who... Um, have been working with these people some have had more than one dog it's like a little facebook group and what have you um so yeah there's a few of us waiting for what was going to be the happy bus arriving at some point on thursday and now it's not because they haven't got the paperwork sorted they're not going to be transported they're meant to leave tomorrow and it takes three days to travel across country well and see because they're you know i'm really wanting to eat this and i'm talking to you and thinking i really want to put this in my mouth so anyway, yes, I'm just waffling now, sorry, but there's a delay. We are most displeased about this, but it can't be helped. So I'll keep you posted. But yeah, Kenzie's a bit gutted, bless him. I'm a bit gutted, to be honest. Right, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and feed my baby sheep and my big sheep. And I'll see you lovely lot tomorrow.